Hi, dear students. Today we will teach about Miller index. What is the Miller index? The Miller index is nothing but that a set of three integer. So what is the three integer? The first time it uh, given by a scientist Miller, it play important role in crystallography. If we are to find out a plane which is passing through atoms, then it must intersect any axis, maybe x axis, y axis, and z axis. The corresponding to this intersections we define Miller index. Now, here we can say that it is a plane which is passing through axis here it is a y axis here it is x axis and on the other hand we have z axis then here z axis and we can say that here a plane which is given like this way and we can easily see that it intersecting this axis x axis where it intersect is point A on y axis where it intersect we call intersection distance B on the other hand at z axis intersect at point C so we can say that the value of A, B, C is nothing but that intersecting distance from origin then we have value for a at v and c equal to 1 1 1 because it intersecting at same distance then what will be here we can say that to find out the Miller index of this pair of crystals the reciprocal of intersecting distance is also 1 upon 1 on the y axis 1 upon 1 and on the z axis 1 upon 1 then we will after reciprocal we will take this numerator 1 1 1 because itself value now what will be the Miller index the Miller index finally for this plane which is passing through x y z at distance a b c which is here taken as a equal to b equal to c equal to 1 the Miller index comes out 1 1 1 it is nothing but that a set of integer here three set has three integer has same value okay next we will take another example of Miller index where it plane may be parallel to y axis may be parallel to z axis or may be parallel to x axis now in this example we can see easily that this plane is passing through intersecting x axis and z axis but it is parallel to our y axis here then here it is parallel to y axis this means it will never intersect y axis so find out the Miller index we know that it never on the y axis the value of b equal to infinity because it will never intersect on y axis on the other hand a and b equal to we are taking a equal to 1 and b sorry c equal to 1 then the intersecting length equal to 1 infinity and 1 then what will be now we will take the reciprocal of this digit 1 upon 1 1 upon infinity 1 upon 1 then we will take after 
reciprocal this comes out digit 1 0 1 it's a set of integer and this is miller index for plane passing through x y z like in this way it is parallel to z axis on the other hand if this plane parallel to x axis then what we will have we will finally get the miller index for a plane which is parallel to x axis because it will never intersect x axis then we will have 0 1 1 this will be miller index for a plane which is parallel to x axis if this plane parallel to z axis then miller index comes out 1 1 and 0 the 0 index that it is plane parallel to in generally in symbolic we take first coordinate as x second is y and third is z it is very simplest example of miller index next video we will take a complex example of miller index in which we will find out a plane which has different value of e b and c which may be multiple of to each other thanks